The entrance to the mine was an extremely ornate arrangement of ruined masonry, and the stonework itself was extremely intricate in design. If Lynn were here, she would surely call this work of the mages, or perhaps even spirits of the mountain would be held responsible for this. Luckily enough that I was chosen and she was left behind. Oh. It's very pretty. It is. I want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> May wasn't off-put in the slightest. Was this the way these gates were before the mines were lost? This door bars our path. Open the way. Oh, she's definitely a wolf. They don't know how to open doors. <laughs> she's just pouring at it. Aw. Let me... Shan bought... <laughs> <laughs> Shan bored into me with her stare as she gave her stern instruction. Did she think I would be able to pry open a sorcerer's gate? I looked to me for help, but she gave me an apologetic smile. This gate was sealed by masters of magic. I am but a journeyman. Alas, that I know not the way to breach the seal. What did you two expect from me? Do I look like a damn magician? My instructions were clear, human. You test my patience. Scritch it behind the ear. <laughs> yeah, well that makes two of us then. You think I'm happy about being on monster bait duty? Shan grew visibly aggravated, like she would strike me down any moment. May had to intervene. Please calm yourselves. Conflict will only add to our problems, will it not? Let us plan and find a solution to the issue of the sealed gate before we indulge in squabbling, shall we? If I may, I suggest we return to my house, now that we have seen the location of the entryway, Lady Shan. Shan huffed scornfully and turned away from us. Spare me. Go and make your plans. I'll give you until tomorrow. Thank you, Lady Shan. May took a short but sincere bow to placate Shan. Then her eyes lit up and she turned to me as if having come up with something. Sir Kang, perhaps you could inspect the gateway briefly before we depart? I looked at the ornate structure before me and sighed. What did May expect me to do about this? For that matter, what miners would build an entryway like this for a mine in the mountains? Perhaps Lynn was right about me. She might have been here as part of a cabal of witches in these mountains. Well, if that were the case, then it would be best not to anger her. Ooh. Do you want to touch the thing? I do. Or do we want to watch the thing? Ooh. No, it says I shouldn't touch the thing. Oh, but I want to... I want to touch it. <laughs> you want to touch the thing? I want to touch the just thing. Just the tip. <laughs> just, just a little poke. I think we have to watch it. I don't think we can touch it. Which would you want to do? Watch it or not? Not touch it. <laughs> you know. um, let's let's watch it. Let's watch the gate, I guess. Okay. With my eyes pressed again it, against it, so I'm touching it. <laughs> Does that make any sense? No. <laughs> Having come closer, I touched one of the bluish signs carved on the surface of a stone. Nothing happened. Did I expect anything less? Suddenly, I got shaking, and having seen as the light blew what? And having seen as light blue sparkles started running down my arm, I jumped aside the runes. Is my arm safe? <laughs> nope. Really? I twisted my arm, trying to find the burns. Or can the magic make it transparent? But it seemed I was safe and sound. The sparkles went down as soon as I pulled my arm away from the wall. And the wall has no traces of sparks either. Next time, I won't risk it. Sure. I assume that's just it. I don't understand what just was said. I don't know. I turned my back to the gates and glimpsed at a slightly smiling she-wolf. Did she spy on me? And did I look funny? <laughs> Having noticed me back, Shen quickly turned and rushed to her wolf pack. What a creep. Did you check everything, <laughs> Mr. Kang? I, we just didn't- we didn't want to touch it, we wanted to watch it. And then we touched it. I'm so upset. <laughs> Damn. May smoothly took me by the arm and led me away from Shen. I'm starting to get the feeling I'm going to wind up like one of those fairy tale boys who gets eaten in the end. Though whether it be by a wolf or a witch doesn't seem very clear yet. Fatten me up, witch. <laughs> she plans on it. The familiar sight of May's house came into view, bringing me some small measure of relief. Her house is actually made of gingerbread. Oh my god, Lynn's already <laughs> eaten <laughs> It tastes so good! <laughs> 
Sir Kang, I must speak with Lady Shan for a moment. Is it about your oven? No. <laughs> Leaving me with that, May vanished behind the tree line. You can hear us, who's a good girl? <laughs> so, what did those half-beasts want? Is the werewolf done with us? When will we be able to return to the capital? Ooh, I said that weird. Capital. Capital. Capitale. Capitale. Despite her words, Lynn had made herself comfortably at home here. She was nestled in a thick blanket, nursing a cup of tea at the dining table when I returned. She didn't even keep her sword by her side now. Must be nice to be able to relax like that. No, I shouldn't be mad at her. It's important she recovers quickly. I wish I'd known before we arrived. There's an old mine not too far from here that's been infested with monsters. Shen's tribe wants to claim it, and they're using me to scout it out before they go in. No such luck today, though. The door's locked up tight. Maybe lucky for me. I make a point not to bring up the obvious magical aura of the gate itself. But even my limited information had Lin growing concerned. What? A mine full of monsters? Why would they want to go there? They're monsters. Ha ha ha. There seems to be something in there that they want to take advantage of. I'm not sure what. Lynn opened her mouth to protest, but I interrupted her. Hey, I get how you feel, but it's not like they're going to tell me the prize they're after, right? Should we escape? I shook my head. Don't even try it. In your state, I don't even trust you to stay upright the rest of the way, let alone hold your ground against the wolf pack, or their leader. Lynn sulked. She hated being the cause of our vulnerability, but there was nothing to be done about it. This was the reality of our situation, and frustration alone wasn't going to solve it. Can't we slip by them without a fight? What if May helps us? Tenacious woman. Think about that for a second, Lynn. If it isn't us, it'll be her. Do you really think she'll sell herself out so we can run away? But you said the door to the mine was locked. What if we can't open it? Then we're well, dead. This... <laughs> That's it, we live here now. <laughs> well, this was going to get uncomfortable. The she-wolf won't take no for an answer. She wants the gate open, and she wants it done by tomorrow, and on that note, you got anything to drink? To hell with it. If we're going to die, I might as well be drunk and happy. <laughs> I scavenged about, looking for where May might be keeping the goods. Now, where would she stash the booze? As I combed through the house, I wound up bumping into our gracious hostess herself. Sir Kang, where are you off to? Not leaving, I hope. Uh, maybe. No. <laughs> uh, trust me, I, I wouldn't dream of it. I guess I should think twice before rummaging through someone else's house. I turned back to sit at the table with Lin. Miss Lin, are you feeling better? You look as though you could use some more rest. If you'd like, I could prepare medicine to help with your illness. Uh, yes, that would be... Lynn was so out of it that she was finally being agreeable for once. It wouldn't last. No, I shouldn't. I'm not so weak that I can't fight off a little thing like this. If anything, we should be leaving as soon as possible. May brought her arms behind her back and gave a bitter smile. I'm afraid I can't allow that. I assume that Sir Kang has already told you about Shan's plans for us. I know all about it. And I don't see how any of this is our prob- Miss Lin, please. You will overstress yourself. Let me prepare a meal for you, so that we can discuss this with full bellies and clear minds. And the wine. Let, let's not forget. My mind needs extra clarity. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> but of course, Sir Kang. I do believe I have just the thing for that. I it's Viagra, wait. isn't it? I knew it! <laughs> Looks like that brought a little cheer to me. <laughs> I hope I'm not asking too much, but perhaps we could pass the time with our table game? It's been so long since I've had the opportunity. Strip poker. Yes. How can you think about games at a time like this? This is a disaster. We have to reach the capital, and instead we're imprisoned here. 
May gave a timid smile and left the room, leaving Lynn to her grumbling. When May fell out of earshot, Lynn turned to me. Maybe it's just me, but Lynn's expression seems to have softened quite a bit. What is she planning? Well, Kang, does the capital seem as so bad now compared to all this? Well, that was direct. I should probably give her a direct response. Yes, uh... we, we have... okay. Yes, it would like to be as far away from here as soon as possible. It makes no difference to me. I guess the top one is, like, agreeing with her? Yeah. Should we agree with her? I guess. I mean, she is I... an angry, sick person. We probably I should. I do like her. I do like her, too. Let's agree with her, then. Anything she says. Great. Everything for you, my sweet. <laughs> uh, at least in the capital, there's no walking packs of wolves with the crazy werewolf at the lead. And... At least, I hope not. Lynn blushed and diverted her eyes. And that's all right. I assume my family will find the way to make more or less comfortable living for you when you're at the capital. I will become a gigolo. Yes! <laughs> she glimpsed at me, glanced at me. Her sparkling emerald eyes momentarily met with mine. A moment later, Lynn averted again, blushing even more than previously. Gonna be a house husband. Ah, Kang, do not risk too much, as you used to do in your childhood. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a dumb, pretty boy. Ah, uh, he's blushing. <laughs> I put my hand onto her head and slightly ruffled her hair. Lynn sulked and quickly moved aside at more than arm's length. You jerk. The girl stood up and left the room. Never touch a girl's hair. Mm-mm. 